Hey guys, Jack Spierko here from the Bitcoin Breakout and the survivalpodcast.com. I wanted to uh, chat with you guys today about how to claim your podcast if you're a podcaster. Now, you want to make sure that you're in podcastindex.com. If you've been in the Apple Index for any period of time, you probably already are. If not, you can submit your feed there. Uh, but we're going to assume for this instance that you're already in Podcast Index, which is the Podcasting 2.0 Index for Value for Value. And again, most podcasters are already there, even if they didn't do it on purpose. You might even be there twice, like you're about to see. Um, with that, I, I want to show you exactly how to do this. And it's really easy. And I'm actually doing it to go to a buddy of mine, a friend, and a member of the Survival Podcast Expert Council into claiming his podcast. His name, of course, is John Pugliano with the Wealthsteading Podcast. And uh, he said, well, the size of his podcast, you know, this would be a lot of work and it's, it's not. And I want anybody out there with a podcast, I want this to be your orange pill experience. Because when you see how easy this is, and I can't actually do it, but I can go right up to the point of doing it, and then he'll have to do it. I would do one for you, except I already claimed all mine. And you got to see how to do this. So first thing you have to do is locate your podcast in the Fountain app. So download the Fountain app. You can search for it on the iTunes store or the Android store or whatever, Google Play, whatever it is. Because I use iTunes. So I'm not sure about the Android side. Or just go to fountain.fm and it should open your app store so you can download the Fountain app. And when you do, you'll end up on a screen that looks something like the one you're looking at. Just search for your podcast. But remember, in Fountain, if you search on the Discover tab, which is where we're at now, you're going to find things like individuals, episodes, and clips. If you want to actually find the podcast themselves, click on podcast, then the little magnifying glass, and we're going to search for wealth steady. Search. And we'll see. We've got actually... And I'm not sure why John has this, but he has two versions of his show, and they both are his show. So I would claim them both. All you're going to do, click on the podcast. If you want to subscribe to somebody's podcast and hear this screen, all you do is hit follow. I want to follow John, so I'll do that. But now I am, I, I've saved it, and you can see all his episodes. Nobody's made any clips of the show yet. And so I can listen to John on Fountain right now. I can get paid to listen to John on Fountain right now. But what I can't do... I can't stream to him and I can't boost him. I can't give him value. I can't do it. And I want to be able to do it. So if I was trying to boost him, you see that little uh, lightning bolt there in the center? I would hit that lightning bolt. And if I were John, I would hit, hit that lightning bolt. And you see what pops up? A little yellow tab there at the bottom. It says claim podcast. If I click claim podcast, it's going to ask me for the email address associated with my RSS feed. So all John would have to do is put, I don't know, John at the wellsteading at wellsteading.com, whatever his email address he uses to manage his podcast is, put that in there. Fountain is going to send him a link. When he gets that link, he clicks that link and it is done. And if John doesn't want to spend a lot of time in Fountain, I like engaging on Fountain, but if John doesn't want to spend a lot of time in Fountain, if you are a podcaster and you're like, I can't spend a lot of time doing like social media engagement. That's all you ever have to do. And as your stats accumulate, maybe you'll decide you want to withdraw them. You can go look at one of my other videos on how to do that. Fountain is incredibly easy. It takes almost no time to set it up. Uh, you, you know, you really should kind of like put a, a good handle on your profile or whatever. So you're not just user 3951754. If you want to do that, you can do that. No big deal. You don't have to put a, a logo or anything up there. But if you're a podcaster, you have people listening to you, and you never know who might be out there like, you know what? John Pugliano changed my life. John Pugliano gave me some investing advice, and it saved me $100,000 last year. So I want to like give him some value, 10 bucks, 100 bucks, 1,000 bucks. You don't know what your audience might think your content's worth. That's what value for value is all about. Adam Curry, who created this, said, this is not tipping. Tipping is like what you do to a waitress. Tipping results in 10 cents here and five cents there in the world of podcasting value for value is, Hey, you just listen to this podcast. You might think it was worth something. I don't know what you think it was worth. You decide what it's worth. Thousand sats. It's like a buck, 10,000 sats. Somebody tipped me actually several people yesterday gave me boosts of over 50,000 sats. 
And podcasters, if you have somebody that helps with your show, somebody that does editing or graphics work or something like that, you can then have them set up their own uh, uh, fountain account. And then I'll do another video later on to show you how to manage splits. But you can just basically go in there, enter their name and say, I want them to get 20% of my 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 boosts and my streams. And so you can use it as a way to not only receive value from your community, but to distribute value to those that help make your podcast better. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see something else, my lovely wife there on the, the cover of my phone, if you want to see some else from Fountain, let me know. Again, I do want uh, several of you have asked for how to do clips. Lots of people are trying to do clips. You're not doing anything wrong. Fountain is having growth pains right now. They're having some database issues. So when you hit the thing to do clips, it spins and spins forever. That's just because it's 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 down for the count right now. Uh, but I'm sure they'll have it back up soon. As soon as they do, I'll do one on clips. Let me know anything else you want me to do on how to use the Fountain app.